Hello students, welcome to Pitkin Digital Teaching System. I am your maths teacher and today we are learning countdown 7. So before we start our topic, I would like to advise few tips for effective learning and takes maximum benefits from Pitkin Digital Learning. So like and subscribe to your school channel so don't miss any video. You may watch multiple times video till find out the answers. So let's start our topic and the topic is rational numbers. So what is rational numbers? So any number which can be written in P upon Q form where q is not equals to 0 is called rational numbers so and if q is equals to 0 then we call it as not rational number so let's start our question and the question is which of the following are rational numbers so simply you can identify the digits uh, so these are rational or non rational so 3 so 3 upon 1 we have uh, written as a format p upon q and where q is not equals to 0 so 3 digit has Rational number. number second part is 3 upon 0 3 upon 0 is also written in the p upon q form but q is equals to 0 so we can say 3 upon 0 as not a rational number next question is write down the following rational numbers as integers so simply you can write these rational numbers in the form of integers means you means you can fall down their uh, fraction so 7 upon 1 we have answered 7 so this we can write as integer next question is number 5 upon 1 so again uh, we can write this as minus 5 so this we can write the rational number as integers next question is write down the rational numbers whose numerator is minus 7 multiplied by 2 and whose denominator is 21 minus 2 so simply you can write the numerator value as a numerator minus 7 multiplied by 2 and denominator value as a denominator 21 minus 2 and you can uh, simplify these values so minus 7 multiplied by 2 we have answer minus 14 and as a denominator we have value 21 minus 2 so 21 minus 2 we have answer 19 so this is the final solution of this question next question is express minus 3 upon 7 as a rational number whose numerator is simply you can multiply uh, any number which is equals to 6 and same number multiply with denominator so our equation is minus 3 upon 7 so we can convert it into 6 so we can write 3 multiplied by 2 it is equals to 6 so we can multiply 3 multiplied by 2 upon 7 multiplied by 2 so we have answer minus 6 upon 40 number next part is minus 15 so again we can multiply any number to minus 3 upon 7 that numerator converts it into 15 so we have 3 multiplied by 5 so our answer is 15 and 7 multiplied by 5 we have answer 35 so our solution is 15 upon 35 next question is express minus 2 upon minus 5 as a rational number whose denominator is so you can uh, convert uh, these denominator into 5 and you have equation minus 2 upon minus 5 so minus 5 multiply by minus 5 1 so you have uh, make these denominator so we can multiply 1 to both sides so minus 2 multiply by 1 upon minus 5 multiply by 1 so we have answer 2 upon 5 next question is minus 15 so again we can convert the denominator into uh, minus 15 and we have equation minus 2 upon minus 5 so we can multiply these with denominator and numerator so minus 2 multiply by 3 upon minus 5 multiply by 3 so we have answer 6 upon minus 15 and this is the final solution of this question next question is find the reciprocal so in reciprocal you can simply convert the numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator means you have uh, question number 1 minus 3 so we have minus 3 upon 1 so we can convert it into reciprocal system so we have answer 1 upon 3 number second part is 1 upon 7 so simply we can convert it numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator so our solution is 7 upon 1 next question is arrange the following rational numbers in ascending order so simply you can uh, taking LCM first so we have L values 5, 2, 15 and 10 so our LCM of these values are 30 so we can write 30 and divide the denominators and multiply the numerators so 5 divided by 30 we have answer 6 and multiply by numerator which is 2 so our is 6 multiply by 2 next is 2 multiply 2 divided by 30 or 30 divided by 2 so we have 15 15 multiply by 1 next is 30 multiplied by 15 so we have 2 and with numerator we have 8 so minus 2 multiplied by 8 and minus 10 multiplied by 30 we have answered 3 multiplied by 3 so again we can simplify both values 
so at 12 upon 30 we can uh, cutting this value so 26 at 12 and 15 at 30 and uh, minus 15 upon 30 so minus 1 upon 2 because 15 on the 15 and 15 to the 30 then 16 upon 30 we have uh, 8 upon 15 and next is 9 upon 30 we have 9 uh, 3 3 the 9 and 3 10 the 30 so we have so we can firstly see the value which have minus sign so minus 8 upon 5 minus 1 upon 2 these both are subtraction sign so we can write these values first because these are less values and in ascending order we can uh, write these values uh, lower to higher so our lowest value is 8 upon 15 then uh, minus 1 upon 2 then 3 upon 10 and last 2 upon 5 next question is add the following so simply you can taking LCM first and add these values so we have LCM 5 and 5 we have LCM 5 so we can divide the denominators and multiply with numerators so 5 divided by 5 we have 1 multiply by 3 minus 5 divided by 5 we have 1 multiply by 2 because 2 is numerator so we have 3 multiply 1 3 and 2 multiply by 1 we have 2 so 3 minus 2 we have answer 1 so we have answer final is 1 upon 5 minus 5 upon 8 and 1 upon 4 so again we can take LCM 8 and 4 so 8 and 4 we have LCM 8 so we can simply write 8 in, as a denominator and divided with denominator so 8 divided by 8 we have answer 1 and multiply with denominator which is 5 minus 5 then add these value and uh, denominator we have 4 so we can divide the denominator 8 divided by 4 we have answer 2 and multiply with denominator which is 1 so we have value 2 multiply 1 so minus 5 plus 2 we have answer minus 3 upon 8 this is the final solution next question is simplify so simply again we can take uh, LCM both sides and add these values so we have taken LCM 11 and 6 so 11 and 6 we have LCM 66 so again we can divide this in denominator and multiply with numerator so 66 divided by 11 we have answer 6 so we can write 6 multiply with numerator which is 7 so we can write 7 then we have sign addition so we can write plus then 66 divided by 6 we have 11 so we can write 11 multiply with numerator which is 1 so so again we can simplify both values minus 6 multiply 7 we have answer minus 42 so we can add 42 then add 11 multiply by 1 we have 11 so minus 42 plus 11 we have answer minus 31 upon 66 so this is the final solution of this question next question is minus 8 upon 5 multiply by 3 upon 4 plus 7 upon 8 multiply minus 6 of 16 upon 25 so simply we can simplify these values so our first value is 8 upon 5 multiply 3 upon 4 so 4 1 the 4 and 4 to the 8 so we can cut both values and our value is minus 2 upon 5 multiply 3 upon 1 then our next value is 7 upon 8 multiply minus 16 upon 25 so we can cut these values 8 1 the 8 and 8 to the 16 so we have changed these values 7 upon 1 multiply by minus 2 upon 25 so 2 multiply by 3 we have answer minus 6 because we have sign subtraction then our next is uh, 7 multiply minus 2 we have answer 14 and 1 multiply 25 we have answer 25 so we can taking LCM simply so 5 and 25 we have LCM 25 so again we can divide the denominator and multiply with numerators so 25 divided by 5 we have answer 5 multiply with numerator which is minus 6 so we can write minus 6 then add 25 divided by 25 we have answer 1 multiply by numerator which is minus 14 so we can write 1 multiply by minus 40 so 5 into minus 6 we have answer minus 30 then 1 into minus 4 we have answer 14 so minus 30 minus 14 we have answer 54 upon 25 and this is the final solution of this question so students hope you enjoyed and learned the basic concepts don't forget to find out the answers and add the answer in your summer vacation copy within 24 hours to maintain your summer vacation learning project as 10 marks included in your final term assessment Hope to see you in next topic. Thank you.